Hey everyone, let's take a minute to talk about Toy Story 4, directed by Josh Cooley and starring the voice talents of Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, Annie Potts, and Tony Hale. So after Andy gave his toys away at the end of the last movie, Woody and company are now with Bonnie. And on Bonnie's first day of school, she literally makes a new friend, who she calls Forky, which is basically a plastic spork with googly eyes and pipe cleaners. Unfortunately, Forky isn't quite ready to accept his new life as a toy and keeps trying to throw himself into the trash because, until very recently, he was trash. And it basically falls to Woody to babysit him 24-7 to make sure he doesn't end up in a wastebasket. One day, Bonnie's parents decide to take her and her toys on a road trip, and on this trip, Woody just happens to come across his long-lost friend Bo Peep and a very creepy doll named Gabby Gabby. And wacky and occasionally terrifying hijinks ensue. So I think it's safe to say that not too many people were asking for this. Not that Toy Story isn't a beloved film franchise, but the third movie ended on a pretty satisfying note, and I don't think we needed to see anything more. If the franchise had simply ended with Andy growing up and giving away his toys, that would have been perfectly fine, and doing a fourth movie after that was completely unnecessary and a huge risk because this could have face-planted so hard. It's not like it had any loose ends to tie up. In fact, they pretty much created a loose end with Bo Peep just so this movie could tie it up. That being said, it was actually a lot of fun and I enjoyed it very much. It's always nice to see these characters that I have known and loved for almost 25 years. God, has it really been that long? Hmm, I'm old. Of course, Hanks, Allen, and Potts all know these roles very well by now. And we got to hear just a little bit of Don Rickles' voice one last time, even though it was archive sound. And there was a very nice tribute to him in the credits. And it's kind of awesome that Bo Peep has basically become the Toy Story Mad Max. That's certainly not a direction I would have predicted they would go in, but it totally worked. And it's nice to see Woody and Bo together again, because their friendship slash romance slash whatever the hell they got going on works very well. I did get a kick out of the bit with Woody telling Buzz to listen to his inner voice and Buzz taking that very literally for the rest of the movie. A uh, little disappointed that they didn't bring his Spanish voice into play. It just seems like they kind of forgot about that bit, but oh well. And for new characters, we have the villain of the movie, Gabby Gabby, voiced by Christina Hendricks. And it is amazing how easily she goes from sweet to creepy and back again. Just... So adorable, but so terrifying. And to add to the creepiness, she has this army of ventriloquist dummies that sit on top of her cabinet like security cameras with their heads spinning 360 degrees like something out of the friggin' Exorcist. Good grief. And also they don't talk, which is actually a really clever touch. We have Keanu Reeves as Duke Kaboom, who's kind of the Canadian evil Knievel, although he's never really been able to pull off any of his stunts, so maybe he's more like the Canadian Super Dave. I really love this character. So many funny lines and so many poses. And as you may have seen in a couple of the trailers, there's Ducky and Bunny, voiced by Key and Peele, and they pretty much steal every scene they're in. I read somewhere online that they improvised a good chunk of their dialogue, which doesn't surprise me. It certainly felt improvised. It's amazing how well those two work together. Just the scene where they're plotting to steal the key. Oh my god, that was so funny. And of course, there's Forky, voiced by Tony Hale, the character that I'm sure will launch a thousand think pieces, and I will let people who are actually good at writing think pieces handle that. There certainly is a lot to unpack with this character, who keeps insisting that he is trash, and is constantly trying to jump into every trash can he sees, and Woody basically has to monitor him 24-7. Uh, of all the things I expected to see in a Toy Story movie, a character being on constant suicide watch was not one of them. It is the most adorably dark thing ever. And it is amazing just how much computer animation has evolved since the first Toy Story movie, which was pretty groundbreaking for the time, but God, the technology now, 20 plus years later, is just leaps and bounds ahead. I mean, we're now at the point where we can see the individual threads on Woody and the wear and tear on Buzz Lightyear's costume and the stickers that are peeling off and the light reflecting off of Bo, and gosh, it just looks amazing. There's really not much bad I can say about this movie. Like, the worst thing I can say is it's unnecessary and it didn't need to happen, but I'm really glad it did, and I enjoyed it very much. If you haven't seen it yet, you really should. Take the kids, they'll love it, and make sure you stick around through the credits, and I mean all the way to the end. Trust me. And that's all I got to say about Toy Story 4. Till next time, take care.